hey everyone and welcome back to another video and in this video as you read the title we are gonna make a web page with the help of bootstrap okay so first of all if you don't know what is bootstrap so let me show you okay so bootstrap uh, is a framework of css okay in which um, you will get a lot of ready to use templates okay so what you need to do just search bootstrap on google okay so and then click on the first link this link and then click on get started and here at the left side you can see this is a tab called content okay so i'm um, not content i'm um, the components okay so as you can see here are all the templates or all the um things that you need to copy in your website okay so as you can see there are navs and tables and there are nav bars okay so as you can see here as you can see there are this nav bar you can copy the code and paste in your html and this is another nav bar and there are a lot of okay so as you can see this is another carousal uh carousal is sliding images okay and there are also buttons various buttons popovers as you can see and also toasts progress bar and also drop downs okay so a lot of things and today we are going to use it okay so first of all um i have opened my vs code and as you can see first um is my file html um wp bootstrap.html which is on web page okay so um i have collected some images and before starting let me tell you this video um in this video we are going to make a ice cream company okay a web page for a ice cream company and that ice cream company is called cold cream okay so as you can see i have um taken a screenshot of that cold cream and this is our logo okay this will be our logo and some images i have collected as you can see here this one this one and this one and this one okay these are some images which we will be using in our web page okay so let's start and what you need to do first just come to the bootstrap okay and in the docs section okay in click on the docs and here at this you can see this starter template okay so you need to just copy this okay so i have copied and this is nothing but the boilerplate for html and it in includes the bootstrap also okay so just copy this and paste it in your html like this one and yes you are ready to go and now you are ready to install any bootstrap applications any bootstrap templates okay so um now i will remove these contents from body and um okay and this also and this will i commit it out okay and these three script tags um leave it as it is okay this is no use for you so leave it at as it is and now um let's change the title okay not hello world let's change it with our the company which is called cold cream which is an ice cream company okay as you can tell from the name and first of all what we need is a nav bar okay so as i show you um we will be using nav bars from this okay so come to the nav bar and just you need to what just copy this okay so i have copied this and just paste it here okay so let's go live and see what is our website looking okay so let's see so as you can see a uh, pretty much good looking nav bar is here and we need to do some changes okay first of all we need to um, remove this disable button and we um, i would like to remove also this drop down button okay 
so this is drop down button and also this search okay we don't need this <clears throat> so let's do that and as you can see this is the um, nav um, the drop down section okay so as you can see this whole i think it is nav bar N not nav bar um drop down okay and instead of home um okay let's home and then about okay and then um i will create another one so let's just copy it down <clears throat> and another one will be order now okay order now and instead of this nav bar we will write cold cream okay cold cream um so yes and we don't need this disable button also and this search okay uh, we don't need this one and let's see our website and yes um, as you can see now it is looking good home about order now and cold cream okay um so first of all let's change the color of that cold cream text okay so what you need to do in the class section come and text write text and it will suggest you some colors okay and in bootstrap there are few colors and they they have given the name of the colors like danger okay so the danger is for red and as you can see here this danger is for red dark is for black and many more like primary is for blue and yellow this is you can see primary it is for blue and this second is for gray and for yellow it will be warning right here okay so um, we will be using blue one okay so blue one so primary okay let's save it and see <clears throat> uh, so as you can see it is looking good and let's um, bold the text okay so let's bold it um, i think this will work fw bolder okay so let's see yes i um this is working and instead of blue color it will be great if we use green okay so <clears throat> so green is success okay in bootstrap green is referred to as success so as you can see uh, now it is looking pretty much great and we also need to and in navbar okay this is um, bg light okay so we don't need any background okay so i will create um, bg none um, I think there is no um, class okay so we will remove just background and it will just remove it okay so yes as you can see there is no background in the navbar and this is looking great and <clears throat> okay and so let's just say if we center the text okay um, if we center the text okay nothing happens okay so just remove that and now what we need um what we need in our website we have created a nav bar and then there will be a logo and some pictures of our ice cream and a order now button okay so just come to the bootstrap website <clears throat> and in the component search for carousels okay so as i have tell you earlier these are for the images and i will choose this one okay um why this one because it is an automatic slider it will change itself in few seconds okay um yes this one i will copy this one and <clears throat> and paste it below the nav bar okay right here okay and as you can see there is nothing because we have not insert any images and instead of these dots right here we need to insert images okay and we we have four images so we also need 
four of the image sliders so let's copy one and just create the fourth one uh, here we go and we also need to create this also okay um so i will name it slider four uh, this will be three and yes i think now it will work and instead of these three dots uh, let's say ice cream one okay and let's say ice cream two ice cream um three okay and ice cream four let's see and as you can see um, okay so we need to decrease the height okay so let's do that okay guys so i have adjusted all of the problems and as you can see now it is looking great and all the images are now in the center and the width and height are also great okay and so um now what we need um let's change the background color of the nav bar um okay let's change it to bg secondary okay um to match okay um just to match this and now um let's um just come to this one and text form success let's change it to light okay so that we can see um yes now it is looking uh, absolutely great and um i am thinking that um instead of this cold cream which we have written um we need to insert our logo okay um this one um so how we can do that um let's add an image tag okay and inside this um this a logo okay and now um let's give a class um we need to set the width okay um let's say 25 and let's see um yes um, i think um, it is looking great and if we remove this so let's see okay um i will do this instead um okay so let's add some css and in style um width let's say in pixels let's say 200 pixels okay uh, remove this and yes i think now it is looking great okay now it um it is looking um great and now what we need let's just come to bootstrap and let's see what we can add okay so we can add a buy now button or order now um so i will copy this blue one okay this info one so let's just copy this and we will just paste it where so where we want this button um you know what i want this button right here okay um instead of where the the search icon was there okay um so let's see where the search one is there here it is and okay and instead of this let's paste this btn let's see and as you can see it is right here looking pretty much great and instead of info we will write order now okay 
and yes as you can see it is looking pretty much great <clears throat> and now we need to add some more components so what we can add let's see um, let's see um, we can add some cards okay so yeah this one um, come to the card section and we can add some cards okay and yes I will copy this one yeah right here this one and now at the bottom okay now at the bottom uh, add these and actually uh, first of all um, remove these um, create a div inside which oops okay I'm um, inside which I will add four of these okay um yes I think four will be great all right and instead of these I will add all the ice cream one okay so let's add this one and then this and then this one and at last the fourth one okay um, oops um, so let's see our website and as you can see there are right here okay um, so we don't need in one row so let's adjust it and for that only I have created this div okay so um, let's say class um, I will give this a class of container uh, we don't need class let's just add style and in style let's say display grade okay grid and then um, grid template columns I will say one of our one of one of our okay and yes uh, and yes as you can see um, they are like this um, okay okay so now um, what I will do is just add these divs here oops okay here and then here and then here we will add two of these and last also we will add this okay so um, I think this will work and now we need five of these okay so just um, repeat five and one fr okay so yes as you can see now it is looking great um these all are in the center and now we need some margins okay we need some margins so let's do that and in the this one let's add some margin oops of five let's say yes it is looking great and i will copy this so paste it here paste it here and at last this one and as you can see now it is looking pretty much great okay and now what we need at last we are pretty much done now what we need the only one which is left is footer okay <clears throat> so let's do that and instead of copying uh, um, instead of copying from bootstrap okay um, let me see what we can add more to our website to make it look cool um, okay
okay so um what i see now let's just remove this background okay the gray background this is not looking nice and instead of this um what we need to do um uh, we need to remove the background and then we need to change the color of this sections okay because then they will not be visible and these arrows okay so first of all let's change the color and for color let's use dark okay bg dark and i will copy this and paste it oops okay paste it right here dark okay yes like this and uh, let's see and yes as you can see they are now looking great and we also need to change the color of these and now it is looking fine and now let's remove this gray background okay so this one and also from nav bar okay from nav bar also this one and yes <clears throat> okay and yes now it is looking great you can see now it is looking great these are all the cards here and um, as you can see in x axis it is moving a little bit for that we need we have a solution and in the body tag let's add a class <clears throat> okay and then we will say um overflow overflow um i'm not hidden so let's search in bootstrap and what is overflow x okay um So these are the only one. Um, instead of this, we will add some style tags, and in this, uh, we will this one. Okay. So yeah, this will work. I guess this will work. And yes, as you can see, now this scroll bar is gone, which was in the x-axis. And now let's create the footer. Okay. So for that. We don't need any bootstrap. Uh, we will just add some elements. Okay, so let's say footer, and inside this, let's say div. Okay, and the color of the div. Let's add this, and the background color of this will be secondary. All right, and the width will be hundred. Okay. Um, yes, and let's say email <clears throat> okay. Um, um, let's just remove it from here and paste it here, okay. Um, let's say email coldcream.com all right and then phone number let's say um, this is this, this and yes that's it let's see um, as you can see they are right here and instead of this let's add flex element okay um flex 
flexible okay d inline block um no um i don't know what is not working so let's just add style tag and um, i will create a uh, display flex okay so yes as you can see it is now great let's add some margin and next of this let's say text align center <clears throat> okay let's add some class and then text mm, this right here and then margin okay let's give it a margin from left let's say 200 pixel <clears throat> mm, yes and let's add style tag here also and let's say margin left and 40 pixel okay and at last we will add a hr tag and after that we will write another div um instead of this footer um, let's add it here okay <clears throat> here and then okay and then we will give it a id p and inside this we will create a sign of the copyright okay we will write copy yes this is the one copyright all rights reserved okay reserved and copyright 2022 okay so guys as you can see here and then let's add some background color secondary okay and why it is i'm leaving this gap i don't know why okay so for that let's um do something um in this this one let's create and just here let's say margin zero and padding zero okay so let's um, remove this so this will not work okay so just um remove this background okay from here um this was fine and um also and also um from this okay um let's remove these backgrounds okay uh, yes now what we need um is to center it okay so let's say class width 100 and now let's say um, class 
text center okay let's see and as, as you can see it is now in the center and we will do the same thing on this one so let's say six okay so yes as you can see now it is looking great uh, we have also created the footer okay so this is um, some um, basic web page with the help of bootstrap okay so i hope you like it and as you can see you can add many elements with the help of bootstrap the navbar we have created this button and the most impressive of all is this browser okay which is image slider and these some cards also and at the end of footer okay so as you can see we have created a pretty much um, good looking website and you can also try it yourself and i hope you learn something new in this video comment if you want any new things and any new topic if you want in next video so comment that and that is it for this video guys i will see you guys in the next one